Welcome back. It's still with us on India Business Hour. Consumer Affairs Ministry has released guidelines for social media and financial influencers. As per the new guidelines, influencers need to disclose in case there is a material connection with the brand they are promoting on social media. Now, as per the guidelines, disclosure should be placed in the endorsement message in such a manner that they are clear, prominent and extremely hard to miss. The Consumer Affairs Ministry has emphasized on the usage of words like paid promotion, paid advertisement that needs to be included in the video. The new norms also include a penalty clause of up to 10 lakh rupees for non-compliance and repeat offenders could face a penalty of up to 50 lakh rupees. Their accounts could also be suspended for anywhere between six months and two years. Ours are uh, general guidelines for anybody who's influencing the buying behavior of a consumer. Now, you're talking of a specific subsector of finance, and I'm also aware that the other guidelines are being prepared, and they will be in harmony. It is like whatever we do is in harmony with the information and broadcasting ministry when it comes to public disclosure. How will you come to know that who is violating these guidelines? So, uh, under the Central Consumer Protection Authority regulations, Anybody can complain. We can also take suomoto cognizance. So like in any other law, so it has to be brought to the notice of the enforcing authority, and it can be anybody. What kind of deterrence or penal clauses are there in these guidelines? Can you suspend any account? Will you report about any account, whosoever is doing these violations, and uh, any monetary penalty? So violation of uh, any guidelines of misleading and advertisement under which these guidelines have been issued. Uh, they, CCPA can impose a penalty. CCPA can, uh, on repeated offenses, CCPA can ask the endorser or the celebrity uh, prevent him or her from doing it for X number of months or years. How many months? Yeah, I think it is six months, but we'll need to check on that, yeah. And a maximum of uh, two years or something, you said? Yeah, yes. When it comes to overall guidelines, they are under CCP under which particular mandate? Uh, will they come under advertising mandates or what? Yeah. So it is under the overall umbrella of Consumer Protection Act. And uh, one of the principles of the act is that unfair trading practices cannot be resorted to. And one of the corollaries of unfair <coughs> trading practice is uh, misleading advertisements cannot take place. And since this is a new form of advertising on the digital media and social media. So this comes under the misleading advertisement domain. All right, moving on, a major decision in the Air India urination 